Hey there, it's Roger to Cry here with all of you. And today I want to talk about why I'm doubling my business every year. So I've been in business for quite a few years now and most years um, we at least double the business. That's always my goal. I want to double the business every single year compared to the year before. Doesn't always happen. Most years, fortunately, uh, we are able to do that. Um, but today I want to talk about why we even do that because if, if I talk with, with friends who are not in business or anything like that, and when I, when I tell them like, hey, this year I'm gonna double again, and then next year I'm gonna double it again, like, and they're like, why? Like, why would you wanna do that, right? And it, it, it makes sense in the early stages for a lot of people because like, let's say, someone is just starting out in, in, in online business and, and they made their first $10,000 a year, whatever. It makes sense that you need to double it because you need to make a living, right? Or even if you're like, then you need to double it a few more times before you're making a substantial amount of income, right? But at some point, let's be real, like, why do, we, why do you need to double it again? Isn't just, isn't enough enough, right? I started asking myself that as well because it's not, like initially, when I was first starting out, I'll be honest, like a big motivation for me was financial freedom, right? Obviously not just financial freedom, freedom in a lot of different ways, that you can work on the projects that you want, that you can spend time with people that you want, but also have the financial freedom so you can actually, you know, basically don't have to have stress about finances, right? Um, but if that was the first reason why I started my business initially, initially, like what's gonna drive me to keep on growing it from that point onwards, right? And I've been, I've been thinking about it as well, like what is the why? Why am I doing what I do? And uh, this is different obviously for everyone, but it's a very, very important question to answer because if you don't know why you're doing what you do, you're gonna burn out or you're not gonna be as motivated. Like a good, a good way to discover what you love most is to ask yourself the following question. It's like, what would I do uh, if I would not get paid for it, right? So either that whatever you do is not is gonna fail, so it doesn't is not gonna work, you're not gonna make you successful, or like at least like it's not gonna make you any money. Like what would you really do? And for me personally, the answer to that is like I just love like the best thing ever is creating things. Like I like to I love to create things that people act like real people use and, and love and, 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 and value and appreciate. Like that's and and that's what I that's that's where I get my kick, right? And that's obviously why I started my business at Viral and my business at Connect.io because we're helping businesses, like we're basically I create a tool, like I envision how it will look, we create that. And then we, uh, like our customers, they actually get results from it, they appreciate it, they love it. And uh, like, that's really where I get like, oh, like if I get one, uh, just one message of a customer that says like, hey, awesome, thank you, we got this and this results using a viral or connect here. Like that makes my whole week. Like that's the best moment, I'm not kidding. Like that's really what I do it for. And, um, and so that's part of the answer, right? That's really why, like that's what I love to do. But also, uh, second part is I don't like to do repetitive things. Like a lot of entrepreneurs, we all we all want to do different kind of things. And like, I, like if I would if I would want to do repetitive things, I would probably not be an entrepreneur. Because but I love to do new things. And I love to solve new puzzles. I love to solve new problems. And what I realized is that if my business is at a certain level, um, there's not that many new problems. Like at some point you sort of figure it out. But here's the cool thing: every single time I double the business, right? I get a ton of new problems. So why, you may think, like, why would you want to have new problems? Well, I love new problems because, like, I love solving problems, basically, right? And I personally love to grow as a person. Like, I love to learn new skills. So, for example, I was, I was, uh, I was partly support desk, right? And I was partly a coder, and I was partly a designer. I was partly, like, doing all these things by myself. And then you start handing off, and you're, like, you're doing less, right? You're doing less of those things, but you do new things. Like, and every single year, my job completely changes. Like, for example, uh, this year we've been I've been spending quite a bit of time on company culture and how to manage the team and things like that. Like, that were things I never had to figure out or work on before, right? So, just this is a new, completely new problem, a completely new job in my business, right? And that's really like every single time I double the business my job completely changed and because of that i learn a lot and I, th I really believe that like the core of human experience is about like it's it's all about new experiences about growth and learning new things and that's really what makes me feel alive now again it's not about what i feel it's about i want you to think about it for yourself as well like what makes you feel alive right because that's really the ultimate goal don't do it for the money don't do it for what people are talking about or whatever it is like really look at inside like what is your why why do you do what you do and if you're just starting out then you might think like oh, i know what i do it for money right and that's fine initially that trust me i i totally get it because as an entrepreneur we need that initially right but at some point 
that's not going to be enough, right? And you can either do two things. You can either just accept at that point and that's it. I have, I've got my money and I'm just going to keep it steady. Nothing wrong with that. Totally fine. But if you're like me and you want to always go to that next level, it has to be about more than money. You really need to know why you're doing what you're doing. Like for me, again, it's about creating things that people love, right? Which is why I've created the Viral and Connectio. We keep on making that better. And secondly, solving new problems, like l l growing as a person. And that's where those things combined makes it like, ah, I just, I wanna make our products way, way better, right? I wanna, like, that's where I get a lot of my passion and energy. Plus, I wanna get, basically, I wanna get a new job inside my own business. And the only way I can do that is, the best way I can do that is by making the business bigger. Because at every level of a business, there's gonna be new problems that arise. And that just, giving you a huge kick and that's really why I do what I do. So I just wanted to share that with all of you uh, and hope I triggered you to answer that question as well. And again, if you wanna figure out what would you do if you would not get paid for it, that's usually a very, very, very good question. So ask yourself that, write it down and think about it every once in a while. What would you do if you would not get paid for it? Because ideally, you're gonna do exactly that, right? And that's what's gonna make sure that you can keep on growing without getting a burnout or something like that because that is not worth it. So again, I hope I inspired you with this video. If I did, I hope to see you next time.